Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Rainer and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get this video to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, we were working a little bit on our hatches. Uh, we are still having the normal hatches here, but as you can see down here, we already have a whole array of stone hatchlings and we did that by giving our hatchlings sedimentary or uh, sedimentary rock yeah these are igneous rock this is for the stone hatchlings but if you feed them sedimentary rock they will change type and that's exactly what we want because stone hatchlings will eat more types of food that is abundantly present and even uh, replenishable and we got igneous rock by digging out a whole chunk of the uh, map here um with this sedimentary rock. The slime biome has the sedimentary rock. Uh, the second thing that we did, and so we prepared this, um, the second thing that we did was already uncovering this chlorine gas vent, and we set it up so if we ever want to use it, we can. But yeah, it's enclosed now, so it will not leak any heat or something like that. Um, so that's prepared. All right, um, that's all we did last time. It sounds not like a lot, but digging out everything uh, is actually quite a bit of work and setting up all of this correctly is also a lot of work. In today's episode, we're going to also do a lot. Um, we're going to work with automation because Liam here, he finally has mechatronics engineering and this is very nice uh, because it means we can start milk making shipping systems and we're gonna make a lot in this video. Uh, I already talked a little bit about it. We have already a conveyor chute here. What I want to do is automatically ship my food from the kitchen to here. That's one. Uh, that's the first thing I want to do. Um, so we don't need this, uh, ref these refrigerators here anymore. We can directly um, put it here and here we have a vacuum so stuff stays good forever. And then we have this space back we can use it for other things um, the second thing i want to do and this is also shipping i want to work on these hatch farms right now uh, duplicates have to come in and fill these fill these critter feeders every now and then um, also if they lay coal uh, they put it on the floor and then um, my duplicates have to pick that coal up and bring it to these coal generators that's two also eggs um, they have to pick them up and bring them here to the incubators or to the egg crackers whatever needs the eggs. Um, so there's a lot of manual labor there. And I want to um, get that off their hand. And that's very, very possible. Uh, and then, uh, we, I already mentioned that the coal generators, I want to make sure that these automatically get filled. So duplicates don't have to go here and fill these manually. Because if you have to fill, to fill them manually, sometimes duplicates also are doing other stuff that's more important. Or has a higher priority uh, for that matter and then these run empty and then all of a sudden we don't have power so that in that way we could run into an issue and if we have a robot uh, doing this then we will never have this issue so um, we're also going to fill these incubators automatically and we're going to make um, a means to automatically change um, over uh, excess eggs that we get that do not fit in here we're going to make um, a mechanism to change that automatically into meat and that meat of course also goes back into the kitchen where it gets processed and cooked and the cooking has to be done manually of course but um, uh, after it's cooked automatically we'll go here again so we have full cycle um, it's a lot of work so we're going to get into it uh, first of all we need some room here so i'm going to deconstruct some stuff here uh so this this that's necessary um let's also deconstruct that one uh, we need some room for automation and we don't need all of this stuff uh, we're gonna leave this here for a moment um there's, there's one extra thing that i want to do um and that is uh, looking at the bottom here we have a little bit of heat that's seeping into this cold biome and melting everything you can see we already have 300 kilograms of water here 
And if we start digging here, this water will come through. And I don't want that. Uh, I don't want this water to mess up my oil. Uh, because this is nicely separated. I don't have to filter anything. So we're going to work a little bit here as well. I'm going to make a ladder. Let's see, out of... Uh, I guess we can make it out of igneous rock. Yeah, we have some igneous rock here. Plenty. Ladder. Igneous rock. Let's make it in a six. Uh, we can go down here. Until here is okay. And then we can make uh, insulated tiles. We're going to make them here. Yeah, because this is abyssalite and this is abyssalite. So this is nicely insulated. But yeah, these tiles, I guess we can say these tiles are lost. They can, uh, they're going to uh, release heat into these, this biome. But this biome is more than capable of absorbing this. Um, so, and then in order to uh, reach all of this stuff, we're going to dig through here and we're going to dig up this here. And I'm also going to dig up this piece and I'm going to do that one with a higher priority so that the oil can fall down before we go in here. And then I also want to dig up some more lead here. If we're here anyway, we can also dig up this stuff, um, more refined metal, which we're we might need at some point. Okay, so this is the first bit. We can also deconstruct this stuff, by the way. How are the germs here? We still have germs? Yeah, this is still 4,567, 4567 germs. So let's close off this here also. Um, the germs were on igneous rock, right? So if I may... I think it should be fine. I'm going to build a piece here as well to make sure that they don't pick up this piece. Um, well, let's make this let's make this out of granite. I really want to make sure that they don't pick up this piece. Uh, let's say granite, which you should be able to pick up there. Let's make this in the nine and let's put it there. OK, now we can put this back. Okay, that's a nine. Um, so that's all I want to do down here for now. So let's go back up. Um, my duplicates will be starting to destruct all of this stuff. In the meantime, I also want to start building shipping rails because we need to uh, make sure Liam is working on this stuff. He's the only one who can build these things. So he's going to have a lot to do. Um, we're going to make rails from... About here and let's build it all the way to here and then we're going to go through there that should be the shipping rail for the food uh, I still have to set up some stuff that they can uh, load it in there but that should be good to go um, yeah let's let's let them do this first and then we do the hatch farms and we'll go from there all right, this is now deconstructed. Let's start making some shipping stuff. Uh, we want to put in outer sweepers and we're going to put an outer sweeper probably right here. Yeah, I wanted to be able to also pick up this position because we're going to um, work with that as well. Or are we going to put it here? Maybe I'll put it here. Uh, no. Going to make it here. Okay. Then we also need a conveyor loader. For the food that's done. We put it here. Then we can build the rest of the uh, rails. Like this and this. Uh, and I want to build everything of this as a six. So that's that. Um... Yeah, that should be okay for now. I want to move this grill one over. Uh, yeah, we are we're making everything instead of uh, at, except the pickled meal. So let's deconstruct this as well as a seven. That's fine. And then we move this one over. Actually, this also. And then we need to rebuild that immediately. 
uh, right here. Uh, the um, conductive wire deconstructed as a seven, and then we build it as a six right here. All right. So that's the first bits. Liam is working on this stuff. Good. Um, I want this to be cleaned up. And here we can already set what we want to put in here. I don't want to allow manual use. I want this to only be filled by this robot. And I want to put food in here. So edibles. All edibles. Uh, except for the bristle berries. The um, meat. Because it needs to be cooked. Um... Let me see. Mushroom. And Paco fillets. Because it also has to be cooked, right? Cooked fish, yeah. So everything else will go in there. Yeah, and at some point I will temporarily make sure that my duplicates can load this stuff into here. But first I need to finish the rails. All right, sweepers done. Uh, yeah, we need power also for those things. So we're going to also build that like this and like that. This is all cleaned up. So we're going to make some additional tiles. Let's make them out of granite, actually. Um, yeah, they're still walking through there. I'm going to leave it like this for now. Oh wait, I need to set the recipes again, otherwise they leave stuff on the floor. Uh, this one, cooked fish, barbecue, and frost buns. Yep. Uh, and let's make this a 7 again. Okay. Alright. Okay, cables are done. Uh, this loader will also load the electrical grill, so if someone cracks an egg... Um, egg falls on the floor and then it will automatically fill this up as well uh, it looks like all our rails are already done yes so let's break into these tiles wait is there more behind this nope doesn't look like it and once this is open uh, the carbon dioxide will flow out but um, that's okay for a little bit. We allow manual use, sweep only. Then we drop uh, everything on the floor. And then we sweep everything with a nine. So I want this to be done very quickly. And then we're going to... This is all okay. And then we also want to ship our medicine. I guess that's also fine. Okay. Okay, nice. That's nice and quick, if they're standing there. Alright, and now everything is automatically shipped to here. Okay, they were complaining about food for a little bit because they didn't see this yet. Uh, when it's on the rails, it doesn't count as food, but now we're all okay. Uh, and now these fridges can actually go. Uh, let's also deconstruct this tile. And these can also go... And then we're going to build these tiles. We have a normal floor now. Uh, actually, we can cancel that. And we're going to make a floor like this here and like that there. Let's make this all a sec. Six. Okay, so this is all um, as it should be. I can also make these floors here now. So now we have a little bit more room here. Okay, um, so next up is our hatches. I want this to be um, automatically handled. So we're going to have some more auto sweepers. We're going to have one per floor. Um, I guess this position is fine. Uh, 
And then we have some more conveyor loaders. Uh, like... This is okay. Or the other way around. I uh, Let's do it the other way around. Um, wrong. Like that. Because we will have our shipping rail going through here. Um, of course, this also needs power. So it's a good thing we um, got the LED. Of course, I was expecting that. Uh, we're going to build that. Oops. Up here. And then we're going to connect this here as well. And then, of course, shipping again. Uh, and we're going to do the shipping. Um, we're going to go around because I first want to filter out the coal that we get from here. And after that, I want to go here. So we're going to ship all of this up through here to the left. Then we go down. Uh, at this point, I want to filter. Um, I need to see how I do this uh, filter. I want to have an element sensor here. And then I want to have a conveyor shut off. And I think I need to deconstruct. Yeah, I need to deconstruct these two things here. Uh, X. And so we detect if there's coal. If there's coal, it goes in this direction. If it's something else, it will flow um, in the other direction. Uh, let me see. I also want to make this spot free, by the way. I want to put all my coal here. And now we have some coal here, which is also manually supplied. And this should not be necessary anymore. Okay, so we have that. Uh, we go down. Then the coal will jump over and the rest will go back and down here. Then we go in here and then here we are going to handle um, the eggs. But yeah, let's let uh, Liam build all this stuff first. Actually, no, we're gonna we're gonna do everything at once. Uh, let's see. We have a conveyor receptacle here. Uh, we're gonna let the stuff come in here. Then we have an auto sweeper. We have a robot pick stuff, and then it will load first uh, the um, incubators, and if every incubator is full then we have another conveyor loader which goes to the next receptacle which goes to another auto sweeper which goes to another loader so the loaders will have a lower priority than the incubators which should all be a seven exactly um, so uh, it will first fill the incubators with the eggs that are necessary and if the incubators are full then it will ship it into the conveyor loader which should be a uh, six priority or lower which is also fine but they're not manual use um, and then from here we also need more conveyor rails we need this here um yeah and then from here i want to move my uh, the remaining stuff into a um, evolution chamber where my um, the remaining eggs and other stuff can go into and the eggs will not be removed they will hatch in that room and when they uh, turn into uh, meat then they will be shipped to my kitchen um, so we need to ship everything over i'm going to make my uh, evolution room here so we're going to drop everything in here i'm also going to set up an auto sweeper here and we're going to make some tiles yeah it should be okay uh let's wait with these 
and I want to have some plumbing in place, liquid vents here, and I want to have a pipe here. Once it is built, everything is built here, I can connect this and then we fill this up with water. Uh, one more thing we need here is the conveyor loader, another one. Uh, we're going to set it up here. This is where my um, robot, my auto sweeper will pull, put all the stuff in here and then we move it to the kitchen. Um, so we go up here, then over. And then here we will have another vacuum for um, the meat most of most of all so uh yeah at this point let's let them oh, no, actually i have one more thing to do and that's power of course everything that i've built a lot of this also needs power so let's also build the power lines i hope uh, liam focuses on the shipping stuff That's built. Okay. Let's actually go to shipping. Priority. I want this to be. Oy, oy, oy. Let's make all of this a seven, so that Liam uh, focuses on that. Because he's the only one who can build that. Uh, and this one, and these also, and the rest uh, will come in time. Okay. These also need to be deconstructed so I can build the rest here. Because we can, we also want to drop uh, our coal here. Let's make this also... I want to make this an 8. I want to make sure that I put a new storage bin here so I can move my coal from there to there. I don't like it if we have a, a heap of coal here, and then the rest we drop here. So let's build storage bin there. Liam is building the storage bin, nice. Uh, and then we copy settings there, but we're going to lower this priority. And then this, let's make this a seven. I hope someone comes over and uh, moves all the stuff here actually we can uh, we can drop all of this stuff and then deconstruct this uh, deconstruct Uh, with 233 left. Okay. Let's say this is sweep only. We drop this again and then we sweep this with an 8. Uh, we have another blueprint. Let's see. Salt water. Yeah, we don't need anything else. Let's just print some salt water. It will stay here for a bit. Uh, we cannot really use it yet, but that's fine. Okay, so now all the coal is gone here. I want to deconstruct this for sure. And this one can also now go. Because we don't need a bin anymore. Deconstruct. And then we're going to rebuild the planter box here. Oh, we have a more up here. Let's kill it. How are the... Lines coming. Okay, my dupes are um, supplying all the lines, which is good. Uh, let's make this all. Uh, yeah, all is fine. And then this will be a five. So yeah, this is being loaded now. I'm moving into here. That's fine. We had some uh, rubble on the floor. Uh, this is here is also going to be all. Let's let's not do that yet. We're not ready building everything here. Okay, finally we're deconstructing here. Let's make another conveyor chute as a six, and we make a conveyor shut off there, like. 
like that. Uh, this is done. Let's do a um, let's see, set a planter box. Yep, let's put a planter box here. But yeah, all our coal will then fall on the floor here. We already have 20 tons. Uh, oh, yeah, we also need a robot here, another auto sweeper. And this auto sweeper will take care of these uh, coal generators. So also let's give this one some power, conductive wire with LED, we need to shut off, also needs power, so let's give that power as well, like this. Okay, so we have a lot of power consumption uh, on the grid, but it should be fine, because they're not using power at the same time. Actually our load is typically 10 watts on this whole line, um, which will be more, eventually. But uh, we're, I think we're good to go. Okay, this is also going to be all as a five. How's our rail looking? Okay, a lot of this is already built. And we're making the sensor here. The sensor is going to be saying consumable ore and then coal. And then of course we also need automation wire to this thing here because we need to control that one uh, and i think that is that combat oh yeah they're killing the morp finally this is done pumping out so we can also deconstruct this uh and the six all right All right, Liam, some work to do. Let's uh, let him build a little bit. All right, um, we have progressed quite a bit. Uh, is this the last bit? Disabled. Yeah, I think we're actually pretty good here. So we have our uh, sweepers. This rail is done. We go here to this automation, which detects what element is on there. And based on the element opens up this or not um, and then the coal is being dropped here everything else will go to here um, this auto sweeper will pick the stuff out of here put it in these uh, when uh, there's room and otherwise it will put it in the loader on the other side the same happens we pick it from here put it in here when there's room otherwise it goes into the loader and everything from the loader will go into here here stuff is being picked up again uh, by this auto sweeper and is moved to the kitchen seems that we have one piece here that cannot be built at the moment uh, we'll fix that so what we want to do here is uh, i want to make another wall here and then we're going to fill this up with water i also see that we have our first hatchling egg here uh, hatchling hatched here um stone hatchling so let's move it here we couldn't set this before we because we didn't have the stone hatchling here as a selectable yet but now we do um so in order to build this here i want to get a sandstone ladder there and then i want to prep this um i want to make a tile here and then we're going to deconstruct this piece and make a sh another shoot here this is six, it's fine. Um, what we're going to do here, we're going to pick up everything. Everything. Sweet. Everything? Everything except for eggs. The eggs are going to stay in here. Uh, everything else, uh, eggs will stay here and the everything else will go into here. Uh, once this is built, I'm going to open this up. Um, here we also have everything ready. These uh, auto sweepers are already filling up these critter feeders which is great uh, i also want them to put um want them to put critter eggs and consumable ore in this one i'm going to do that for all of these um what i can do is make I don't want them to move the stuff from here to here. So let's make this a 
Let's make this a um, one. Let me think. Let's make these a one. This is also a one now, yeah. Then this here is a two. And then this is a three. And then what I can do, uh, three. Now what I can do is make it make myself easier and just load everything in here. Now everything is being loaded onto these rails. Uh, and that should already move a bunch of coal automatically here. Uh, what do we have here? Chlorine. Do we have some other resources? Sandstone. Let's uh, sweep this. I want, don't want to have a mess here. There's some sandstone here. Uh, this one we got coal, more coal. Why is this a big coal? Because it's more. Okay, I never knew that. Uh, and then this sandstone also can get swept. And then we um, make another Weasward here to cool everything down. Um, did I already set this one? I did. Okay, so let's let this run for a bit uh, bubble should all also pick up this um critter now move him to his fresh um stone hatchling wrench nice we have our first one and now if we get a stone hatchling egg it should automatically go where it should go but right now we have a lot of what is this a coal um yeah so we should see our coal Go coming from here and then moving via this shutoff and dropping here. Exactly. And then this robot will have all the time in the world to fill up these coal generators whenever it wants to. That also means we can set this to a 1. Because we don't need our duplicates doing this. And the auto sweeper will have nothing else to do. So it will just fill this up. Um, perfect. Do we have anything else? No eggs yet. Because we want to see that as well, of course, that that works. Uh, I see that this tile is made. So now we can fill up this here with water. Uh, let me... Plumbing. Liquid pipe. Uh, insulated, I guess. And then this is normal pipe. Okay. Uh, we can cut off this. We don't need water being pumped from here to the same pool. So we're going to fill this up. So that all the eggs that hatch here get drowned. Uh, and that turns them into food. Uh, we have to keep an eye on this because we don't want anything to overflow. It shouldn't. But it can. Uh, actually we can build this piece as well. Uh, this sweeper should still be able to look over. Yeah, let's build this, uh, actually. And then we have no risk anymore of stuff um, flowing, water flowing over. Okay, looking good. Uh, this is built, so now we can deconstruct this. We can also deconstruct this here. We don't need it anymore. Let's make this a six. Yeah, this uh, conveyor loader doesn't have room on the rails, I guess. We're really overfilled. Uh, as you can see here, we also have some sandstone coming over. Uh, and that is, of course, not filtered here. So that's just moving. What is this? We have... It's also cold. Oh yeah, this looked a little bit different. That was just a visual glitch. And of course, that sandstone we don't need, so this just moves over to here and the sandstone is then moved over here where it's dropped in here and this should actually be able to see this okay that's fantastic and we want to make a shoot wait oh yeah that's not actually shipping there that was just in there uh, we want to make a shoot here so that stuff is actually also outputted here because right now this has, doesn't have an, uh, a pipe blocked as it says there so it doesn't have a place to go. 
Uh, we wanted to go there, and then I want to have one last conveyor loader. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Let's also power it. Told you we're going to do a lot of automation. Uh, and then we're going to ship everything to here and drop it off there. And this is going to be everything that is not edible. So if we have any sandstone or uh, anything else in here that shouldn't be in here, eggshells or whatever, then we're going to move that automatically into our storage. Um, let's also sweep up this stuff here. Okay, uh, let's continue. And this should clean up our farms nicely. This is already clean. We have a lot of stuff here lying around. Why is this empty? We're running a little bit low on food here. Sedimentary rock. How many critters do we have? Three, four? Oh wait, does, does this door not count as the room? Huh. Let's actually close this automatic. That's weird. Okay. That's very odd. I didn't know that. Okay, this one is done. Uh, so what we want to do here is do all, but not edible. Uh, and not medicine, I guess. Um, I don't want any, any accidents, so liquefiable but we also don't want in there. Uh, organics. Organics, I guess, is fine. Seeds, I mean clothing, doesn't have to be in there. If it ever gets, it shouldn't come here, but uh, I don't want to have any accidents. Critter eggs, critter eggs. Um, that would be odd if it gets here. Shouldn't happen. But if it does, then let's just hatch it here. It will die of all. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so that's good to go. We're getting quite a bit of water in here. So let's fill this up. A bunch of coal here. We have almost 30 tons now. And we get more and more and more and more. It was just lying here. Messing up the place, and now we have... Oh, we have confined now. Um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Why are you guys even standing there? I guess if we have bubbles, move here. Are they going to be free? No, they're not. Move here again. Okay, I guess we need to set this to open again. And this one also. And I guess we need to just try again. Until these... Hatches stop being idiots. But I don't have a lot of hope. Yeah, we have one confined here. Uh, I guess it's not a big problem. Let's see what we get. Fried mushroom. That's good. Uh, let's do print. And now, of course, we need to be able to move it. Um, they cannot move it here. So I need to uh, do... Oh, I have allow manual use and sweep only. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, but for now, it is good. Uh, because we need to set this to a 9. <clears throat> and then sweep this. Because this food needs to move. Okay. And now we do this to not allow manual use and not sweep only. So stuff is... 
actually move there. I guess this is a visual glitcher again, right? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, how do how many do we have? Four and six. Yeah. Okay. But this is uh, auto. So yeah. Okay. We're not gonna replenish these. So these are going to get less and less. But this is a little bit annoying. I shouldn't have opened these doors. So they would stay. I guess I could. What if I? Yeah. I can set this to auto. And uh, this to auto, yeah, and then wrangle these. That's actually an option. Um, okay. That should actually fix it. And then we do the same here. Wrangle. You're gonna lie here, confined and glum. Okay, so we have 4 out of 8, 6 out of 8. Okay. Huh, that fixed that. Um, so this is now full. Uh, let's disconnect this line. And disconnect this also, I guess. And then we're going to connect uh, this here again. So the water can go back out of here. Uh, what we also can do is we can... Yeah, let's just disconnect this as well. And then we make a ladder so we can get down there. And then we can... De uh, do we need to go down there? Can we reach this? Maybe we can reach this. So I want to deconstruct the vents and also the pipe. Because we don't need those anymore. Seems that we didn't get an egg yet. But yeah, these are now not working anymore. Lines are open. Oh, here's an egg. But this is going to be a normal hatchling egg. Uh, and this is not going to be filled here because this is set to stone hatchlings. So this is moving over. And this is going to be our first um, egg that's going to move in this um, room. Should stay there. Yeah. Can we reach? It seems that we can reach this. Let's make this a 7. So to deconstruct this, our auto sweep will automatically pick this up and ship it, and then we can close this off again. Um, deconstruction errands? Why is nobody coming here? We can also open this up. I think we cannot reach it so what i'm gonna do is build this uh, this here yeah this we can reach and then we can jump down and then deconstruct it and then we can deconstruct this let's hope they don't jump down to deconstruct yeah okay good and then we can also fill this up again. Let's make it granite, actually. Bam. And then this is clean. Um, where's the egg? Did they... Oh, I think they grabbed the egg. Oh, yeah, of course. If they can reach this, they will grab the egg and crack it. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Okay, that was just one egg. Um, this is cleaned. Okay, nice. So we don't have any rumble here. And this is shipping it into here. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what we want. So, our rails. Let's um, look into this again. Our food will go automatically in here. We'll be placed here in a vacuum. So it doesn't spoil. And our duplicates can pick it through the water. So they can eat. Um, and this is all automatic. Uh, no manual labor. Then we have our hatchling, um, our hatchling ranches, which produce coal and eggs. And those things are all moved up here. Go into here. The coal is filtered out and dropped here, where we have already a lot. The rest is going here. If we have room for an egg that's being shipped, we put it in here. Everything else, so here comes another egg. We're going to have a lot of eggs, guys. Uh, it's going to be placed here and it will hatch here in 20, 20 cycles and then it will turn to meat and the sweeper will um, pick up the meat, put it in the ship, uh, shipper here. It will move to this vacuum here so it also stays unspoiled. 
this auto sweeper will move it into the um, grill where it will be cooked into barbecue and that will be shipped again so and everything else will go into here so if we get anything else here uh, because these sweepers will pick up anything um, it will automatically go here and I think that is exactly what we wanted uh, so let's see our first egg here as incubating and yeah this is going to take a while five percent per cycle so it is going to take 20 whole cycles to hatch um, but yeah then we get our first meat in the meantime we have to live of our muck root, I guess. Uh, 20 cycles, we have six duplicates, so we need 120,000 calories. Uh, if I did the math correctly, I think so, right? 1,000, 2,000 per cycle, 1,000 per cycle. I think it's 1,000. Uh, anyway, we have 130. The thing is, we're not going to get eggs anymore that will be cracked into omelets, or uh, into raw eggs and then made into omelets. We have to wait for these eggs to a hatch then we need to wait for the hatchlings to um, die and then the meat to be shipped over and then we make barbecue uh, as you can see here we did fill up this um, incubator again with the stone hatchling egg so that also works as intended um, yeah I think we're good at this point um, I'm going to leave it here and next time we're going to go do some more stuff uh, and then we can also see how this one uh, this evolution chamber as some people like to call it uh, will work in uh, practice so if you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to do next feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video